uh, Rich at Spokane Home Guy Group, and I'm joined again with uh, Mike Hogan from Chimney Rock Mortgage, and we are updating you on the real estate and mortgage market for the month of October. Uh, we're midway through uh, November now. We're also going to give uh, an update on the NFC West. We both made predictions prior to uh, the season starting. And if you follow us on football predictions, you should follow us on real estate predictions because we're pretty spot on. We were very spot on. Yeah. 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 I predicted 12 and 5 for the Niners. I think you were 11 and 6. I was 11 and 6 for the Seahawks. Yeah. Still right in that game, still trending. Yep. Yep. So let's go over what matters most. I mean, for the month of October, um, we saw prices stay pretty stable. Um, Between, uh, excuse me, uh, September and October, uh, we had a little bit of decline. If you look at the median price, um, same with the average price. And yet year over year for the same time period, uh, we saw real estate prices with with zero to little change. Uh, when you look at the median price and the average price is down a bit um, in that six to seven percent range. Um, and then the other thing that changed was the days on market. This has kind of been a trend of like days on market are, are going up. It's taking longer to sell real estate right now with where rates are at. And uh, that's a good segue into, you know, what did rates do in October? Where are they at now? And- well, so uh, rates in October did get dramatically worse, actually. They probably went up almost a full point. The reality is, though, that the first two weeks of November, as we sit here in the middle of November, has wiped along all the, those losses and interest rates are back to basically where they were in mid-September and hopefully are trending still towards the better, which, you know, will help people who are buying a house, but is also probably going to keep uh, the demand for buying higher as more and more people will be able to afford or what enter the market. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, like, I mean, we talk a couple of times a week and, you know, if you look at the fundamentals, like inventory, the amount of new homes coming onto the market or be or available to the consumer, that's been trending down almost the entire year. You see little spikes here and there. And the overall trend is that there's fewer homes coming onto the market. And so rates go down. Rates go down, it should bring more buyers into the market that'll probably have an upward pressure on home prices. So as you and I've talked lots of times, there is a true cost of waiting to buy a house. Mm-hmm. I mean, with interest rates where they're at today, I mean, I, I think it's a great time to buy. I mean, what I have told everybody to do, lock your rate today. If you work with us, if you before you close, if rates improve, we'll float you down for free. And then still at that rate, you can always hope that rates get better and do a refinance down the road. But I don't think you're going to regret entering the real estate market now. I think you'll regret waiting. Well, and I, yeah, and I, um, our, our last month's video, we talked a bit about that too. We've talked about that a couple of times of just how resilient real estate is. And so I, I was curious after that. And so I went back, I think it was 30, maybe 40 years and looked at real estate and, and looked at all of the events, political elections wars, recessions, all that stuff. And and honestly, like real estate has no feelings. No, no, no it doesn't. The house has no heart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's no heart. I mean, it's literally, if you look at it, you see your seasonal stuff in there, but it's an upward trend over the last 40 years. And there's a lot of stuff that's happened in between today and 40 years ago. For sure. And it, I agree with you. Even though when interest rates were the high in the early 80s and high being like 18% nearly, the real estate was still appreciated. Right. And over the long haul, real estate really has appreciated and still continues to be the best investment most of us will ever make. Yep. Yep. And, you know, there's there's some argument to. Well, rates were higher in the 70s and 80s, you know, in double digits, I mean, almost to 20 percent at one point in time. Um, but houses were cheaper. But if you look at if you look at real estate as a percentage of your income during those years, it was in the 26, 27 percent. Right now, we're sitting at roughly 29% of, yes. of your mortgage payment for your overall like in, uh, income gross expense kind of deal. Well, for sure. And then the other thing that people don't talk about is because incomes have gone up, your discretionary income has also gone up. So having 28% of your payment now probably would still leave you more discretionary income than having 26% of your payment back in the 80s. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So like we just, like we discussed last time, I mean, like, it's going to be a more expensive choice. It always is. If you're going from renting to owning or you're going from a two bedroom to a three bedroom, like it's a life choice. And, and sometimes those have to be made. And, you know, we're out of the market where you're making a decision because you 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 made a a, a shit ton of equity and real estate by by buying like good. That's great. It's a different it's a different choice now. And so, you know, what we what we both recommend is like this is a one on one 
uh, situation. Like, you know, like sit down with your with a mortgage advisor and a real estate advisor and, and take a look at what the market's doing. Take a look at if it's going to be beneficial for your situation and explore what options are available out there. There's a solution for everything that can that can fit within like what you're comfortable with. Totally. As we thought before, you don't need a down payment. There's down payment assistance. You don't need for credit. Um, there's certainly ways to get into owning a house, which is really what the main goal here is. It's really about meeting what you need in your life at that time. Yep. Yep. So if you're interested in sitting down, um, please feel free to check out uh, any one of the Spokane Home Guy agents, uh, Columbia Basin agents, um, and we are over at Jimmy Rock Mortgage. And so, yeah. Yeah. Um,